all right, my good ones, my, my beloved twin flames, um, brothers and sisters on this uh, journey. Um, tonight, we're going to talk about something that is more related to all of you together because I always emphasize that uh, when I share with you what's going on with me, I'm trying to show you that um, there's things that we collectively share, there's things uh, that w either happened to you already or is happening at the same time as it's happening to me or it's going to happen to you in the future. So I'm kind of preparing you on your road. You know, it reminds me of uh, times when I was a kid and it was a road trip with my school or excursion and my mom would pack my bag for me like she would prepare everything for me to be ready for the trip um, so I'm trying to get you ready on what what could happen to you on your next step so um, when I share it's not something selfish that I'm just bragging about my own uh, twin flame journey but trying to uh, share in order to um, for you to give you an opportunity to compare the notes. I can't emphasize that enough. And there's no magic wand that I, I never ask for money. I never ask for donations. I'm not here to give you magical reading. I have nothing against those, uh, but I'm here to show you the reality of Twin Flame Journey so you can know that you're not crazy when you're going to some, because Twin Flame Journey can, can be super weird. It can be super weird at times. So uh, today, uh, that's why I'm saying today I'm going to talk about more something that's really like directly related to you. And what I'm going to talk about is some synchronicities and some really amazing, uh, I will call them divine messages for that I feel obligated to share with everyone. Um, so I, I don't feel like it's just for me. These messages were not just for me. So I'm just going to start right now um, describing what happened in the past few weeks. What I need to share with you, as I said, is uh, this, these messages that are related to all of you exclusively right now, uh, specifically uh, who are... <clears throat> approaching your reunion so what happened was I was going to the prayer and I left my car parked on the on the curb and I went and I took my mom with me to the prayer and uh, it was nighttime prayer it was a spe special prayer for um, uh, the the night that that we consider holy which is called the Night of Ascension, and we were at the mosque, and I felt really strong presence of the angels. Spiritually, I felt really good that night, and there was a little boy who came, and 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 just um, I've noticed him on a couple of occasions before this um, night. He's about uh, three years old and extremely good-looking kid, and what what he would do during the Ramadan time in the mosque. All other kids, well, either they're nice kids, like they're, they're good, they're with their parents, and sometimes they were, you know, just being kids, doing silly things. But this little boy would uh, give water to everyone. N nobody told him to do that. He just, he seemed to be enjoying uh, his little task. He was giving water to everyone uh, in the mosque during Ramadan. Every single night he would come. Uh, um, he has older brother who is really like, uh, good with prayers and stuff and I don't know his parents or anything he would come to 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 women and give everyone a bottle of uh, water and um, as I was watching him uh, something occurred to me I remembered uh, a verse from the Quran that's talking about little angels like little sort of little angelic creatures that will exist in in, in kingdom of heaven, in paradise, in Jannah, who will be giving, uh, who will be like going around and in, in joyful state of being, they will be serving others that those who are, who have earned the paradise. So they will be like going around and giving, giving uh, gifts. And, and so I just, as I watch this kid go around and in such a joyful state, giving women water I remembered uh, that verse from the Quran anyways um, as I realized that 
And that night he did the same thing. And as, as just as I realized, and, and it just entered my mind that he's acting like a little angel uh, as described in the Quran. And, you know, they say so as, a, as above, so below. So it's like it's like a vision of heaven. I just had that that moment watching that little boy with smile. He was just beautiful, blonde hair, blue eyes and doing that with so much joy. Then I remember that every time during the Ramadan that I when I gave him candy, he would take it and thank thank me. But he never ate it. And other kids did, and that reminded me that, you know, all these occurrences in biblical stories and Quran stories where angels come to people dis disguised as men, as young men, young boys, youth, they never eat. They always refuse to eat. And then I said to myself, come on, it's, it's just your imagination, you know, that he's some kind of a... He, like hidden, like disguised angel, and as just as I thought that like stop imagining things he came in front of me when nobody was watching I was actually I got up to pray we all got up to pray and he just swiftly just very quickly he came in front of me and bowed down his head in front of me and he was really careful not not to let anybody else see he just did it very briefly he just stood in front of me, looked me directly into eyes, and he bowed down to me, and I, I almost fell. And then he moved. He let me continue my prayer. I actually didn't start yet. I was just, I was just getting ready to start. I was getting up. And it just gave me goosebumps, like a good goosebumps, because I remembered the the Quranic verse where angels uh, prostrate to, uh, to human being, to Adam. And so um, I was I was really feeling good that night, and I felt uh, other invisible angels being present in the mosque as well. And 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 then when I was leave, as I said, when I was leaving, uh, I came back to my car. My mom was with me, and she she was gonna open her door, the the passenger side. And as she opened the door, something that there was a metallic sound something fell on the ground and she she looked up and she said oh there was something on top like on on the side of the door somebody left something and she picked it up and it, it was what you right now you look at my screen look at your screens and you can see this is what my mom found somebody left on my passenger side of my car and it just fell down on the ground she picked it up and i really don't know what this is if anybody knows uh, let me know in the comments however it was two rings and they were uh, they were together and I first I thought it was just part of some chain uh, but then I realized that it can be separated they can be separated there, there's a little mechanism on each of these they were separated when my mom found them but uh, they have these little clicks on them and they're kind of the size of two rings and they're identical as you can see and uh but they look kind of like tiny um handcuffs i'd say you know they also remind me of um the of course the infinity symbol the the the, the horizontal eight you know the infinity sign and just i just had i i don't know is this something or the shirt or this. I'm not gonna guess because I may sound stupid maybe if somebody knows what this is um, I don't want to sound stupid I really don't know what it is but it it's it's kind of metallic silver I don't know if it's silver but it could be because it's heavy and and I brought them home of course and I don't know who left them on my car but I had this strong feeling that it was some kind of um, angelic being that left it for me as a sign and just a few hours later basically in the morning when I woke up I went to the store just two doors down from my house and I was shocked as you can see on the screen right now when I saw these this bottle of perfume I just went to the to the cosmetics aisle and I wanted to buy a perfume and I I just couldn't believe it said twin rings and you can see the noses of the lions have the rings in in the noses in the no nostrils and it says twin rings 
and I did watch a video the day be that day before I went to the prayer. I watched the video uh, where the other uh, twin flame worker mentioned um, that the the twin the word twin was showing up everywhere that week and i was like oh my god this is this is incredible twin rings come on i mean i had that feeling the night before when my mom when it dropped just from my car that it was a sign it was a symbol of twin flames of the reunion but i again i keep telling myself i'm sure you the others do that too uh, I keep telling myself, come on, it's just maybe, you know, there was no explanation. My mom kept saying, who, who could leave this on your car? What is this? And I was like, I, I really don't know. But it, it, deep down, I knew it was a, a sign about twin flames. And I forgot to look up for the meaning of the lions. But then this suddenly popped up. So I was like, oh, yay, let me see. So it's on this uh, website. Um, because the image just popped up related to something else I was looking at and I was like oh wait wait there's a lion again and you can see uh, I mean you you just can't make these things up you know and I see I see on this uh, on this image there's a it's the infinity sign above her head as you can see in this photo uh, in this painting and uh, she's caressing a lion and below on that card or whatever is was an image on uh, image on a search it says strength it's a strength card so i was interested to uh, so i of course i went to click on it see what what else does it say and you can read on the screen right now it says it shows that the exertions in your life at this point even if you are feeling that perhaps you're getting a bit out of control ultimately you are also processing the power to overcome the lion requires an understanding with the animal to bring to bring bring it to the submission. Now is the time to face demons head one and conquer them and conquer them. You have the power to defeat and destroy that which is holding you back internally. And uh, exactly exactly what I'm going through right now is a lot of facing a lot of demons, a lot of things. Uh, by the way, uh, remember in the previous video, I talked about past life, past life's experiences that has seized the, the this last two weeks. But this, um, as I said, these uh, synchronicities and these signs are showing up like crazy. And what I noticed actually right now, as I posted this for you guys uh, on the screen, you see up in the uh, right corner it says 7-14. That's the date of my birth. I'm not kidding you. I, I have not noticed that when I screen sh when I took a screenshot of this. But now as I posted it here on, on, on to, to make this video, I noticed that this says 714. I was I was born July 14th. So th that's just a lot of synchronicities, guys. Um, so next, next is even more weird, is this specific number that started pop popping up um, in, in, in so many things. So look at this. Um, pay attention. I was watching this video by Abraham Hick, uh, Hicks uh, called Being Single, which also came as synchronicity into my... Um, I, I wasn't looking for this video, it just came in. And I, I clicked on it because I was interested to, to hear what Abraham Hink, Hicks has to say about this topic. And I noticed in the upper right corner, the time uh, was uh, 9, uh, uh, 32 a.m. Now, it, it may not be interest, interesting to you why, you know, 32 minutes after 9, but look uh, down below uh, where it says Abraham Hicks fan and it says 32,000 views, 32,894 views. But anyways, you see number 32 again, uh, 9.32 a.m. And then um, there's a dislike button that says 32. So I just noticed like, wait a minute, there's like three times 32 in this video. It's because the clock switched to 9.32 and then I noticed that um, as you can see, I didn't even start watching the video yet. It was just before I even clicked play when this 32 just was like just right there staring at me. So, again, I, 
I just ignored that. I was like, well, okay, cool. It's it's an it means something, but I didn't pay much attention to it. But it just w wouldn't let go, you know. Right after that, I was watching this video, and it's Divine Flames. Uh, the, uh, Twin Flames Divine is taking over and it's there's a beautiful message on the screen but you can see on the bottom it says 23 subscribers so this is barely new channel just just started it's called Soul Awareness and I was just drawn to this channel and so I opened up I was gonna watch the video and I noticed that there's only 23 subscribers for this uh, channel uh, being made so far so it says divine feminine is called to express her truth and follow her own path not mapped by others as she follows her own internal compass uh, she's able to claim all the blessings that are prepared for her by the spirit and uh, it says it continues is that to advise her to release the past and uh allow the divine to unfold a new reality in front of her so that's something i told you in the previous video that i was releasing past have uh, past life experiences heavily for the previous two weeks so that's another confirmation then next one was this i am subscribed to this channel so uh i just i was going to sleep and then this video was uh, sent to me as I'm a subscriber from uh, someone channeling Archangel Ma Michael and this is uniting with your twin flame and you can see uh, the time was 12.03 a.m. which is basically you can see 2 and the 0 between 2 and uh, 2 and 3 there's 203 but look at the number of views it says 203 views so that's uh, basically same as two and three just zero between two and three two and three and that was me you see 24 likes that was me actually i added a like but before i did uh because i didn't notice yet i just you know i put the like before i actually watched the video and so i made it 24 likes but actually it was 23 likes and the next one next day um i i got this other reading coming up uh, which was because it at attracted me because it says twin flame uh, divine masculine uh, masculine heartbroken over feminine because remember in the previous video I told you I felt uh, some heart uh, palpitations that were not I felt as not my own they were not caused by anything in my situation so I felt that was coming from my twin flame so I got interested in this video and I watched it and as you can see it says one two three one which is uh, not only 2 and 3, 23, but it's also 1, 2, 3, which means next step. There, there's, uh, I, I usually when I see 1, 2, 3, it means there's time for next step on the journey. And uh, again, th this just kept popping up. Look at this one. Uh, every time I try to watch something, uh, there was other things. There was things on the road, like license plates and stuff, but... This was so much staring at me, like you can see 6.23 a.m. And you can see down there it says 1,723 views. So there was a lot of 23, number 23 showing up, like just just trying to tell me something. So I finally gave in and, and looked it up. I did. And I looked up number, actually, I don't know, either I, I was super tired, so... I just looked at 32 accidentally or there was no explanation for 23 I don't remember but as after I read it but it doesn't matter because 3223 it's basic as I did see 32 a lot on the street uh uh like on license plates and stuff so uh I looked it up 32 combination 2 or 3 and as I read it I took a screenshot because I already decided by that point that I was going to make this video and share that I was pushed to share this with you. I think it's for everybody out there who is approaching reunion. So as I did, did take a screenshot, that's something you can't make up. I, I took a screenshot and then on screenshot you can see the time was 1.23 a.m. So 1.23 again, next step. And let's see what it says the importance uh, of number 32 or or 23 doesn't matter 
meaning in your life is that you ought to not have any hindrances with regards to influencing your fantasies to work out as expected. You ought to go to full scale and utilize every one of the assets that are accessible to you. At whatever point you have a craving for surrendering or altering your opinion, recall the message from your watchman, holy messengers, go for your fantasies since you will be effective. On the off chance that you uh, need to begin getting a charge out of a glad and satisfied uh, life, you should encircle yourself with joy and inspiration. One way you can do this is by doing the thing that you cherish most with the general population who matter the most. So I think this is a really important message for all of you out there. And the next thing that kept happening to me, as you can see on this screen, let me explain what this is. Even I'm not sure, but let me explain it. I left my phone in my hallway and there was absolutely no one near my phone. I left the phone on top of my uh, mirror stand and I was doing something else. I was just gonna, I, I was just gonna leave my house. So, so I left the phone close by the door so I wouldn't forget it. And then I heard my phone as I was down on the other side of the hallway, probably like six to seven feet away from my phone. I heard the shatter sound like the, 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 the phone took a photo. And it was facing, the screen was facing up, of course. It was just on the stand there. It was really high on the stand. There was nothing that passed by the phone. There was no people, animals, nothing. And my phone, I, and I saw that something moved quickly, like, ab above the phone. But it was just a second. And I heard the shutter sound. My phone took a photo. Like, it's in the selfie mode right now so it would be like if it was if it was it was taking a selfie if someone was walking in front of it uh you know like a human <laughs> then that that would be normal but this this happened uh, nobody was around i was down the hallway as i said many feet away so it, it couldn't be me it couldn't be my shadow nothing like that and then same thing happened next day i'm serious it happened next day and you can see they're very similar but the next day was a little bit more bright i think uh this time my phone was uh in the living room and i didn't hear when it happened what but when i came to get my phone it was i found it this way it took a photo again uh a selfie of something and i was i was wondering what this could be i was like what and I just left it. I, I just left it in my phone. Uh, I knew it, it meant something, but I couldn't figure it out. Then uh, same day after this red shot was taken, I went to the meeting in my company. We had some training to do, and I was in the middle of the meeting, and I was taking uh, uh, shots of what was on the screen. Uh, we were doing present. We, we had presentation to do and I was taking photos so I, I didn't have to take notes and write down and I was just taking you know shots with my phone and at, at one point I left the phone on in front of me and again everybody was sitting there was nobody sitting next to me or close on the other side of the table it was pretty bad attendance that day. It was just like four people. Everybody was scattered on the other sides of the table. And I put the phone down, again, a screen facing up, and my phone took a shot again. And I was embarrassed because it made the sound when when the 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 boss was talking and i was like why why is my phone doing that like why is my phone taking photos and what was it um as you can see it took a photo of a really <laughs> bad ceiling i never even noticed the ceiling was this ugly <laughs> in our company room i i had no idea it looked this bad because i was just i put my phone back in uh in the purse and then uh, my other supervisor she said, what, why, why are you putting the phone away? I said, I I'm sorry, just, I don't know, it's clicking and it's making shutter sound. She said, no, it's fine. Just uh, if you are taking no instead of taking notes, if you're taking photos. And um, I did, I put it back on the table and it took this shot again. 
something orange, like an orange aura or orange light. I, 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 I didn't know what, it, what to make out of it. Uh, when I came home, I was like, oh my God, because I didn't look during the meeting. I didn't want to look at the phone. And I was like, oh my God. Then it happened one more time next day. And you can see here, there's a little bit of uh, white light, I think, on the side and the orange light. And after four of these, I started being not scared i'm not scared of these things i feel that it's a good energy it's something good i feel that it's uh, some sort of angelic presence or angels are trying to tell us something here and i didn't really i couldn't figure it out i was wondering i showed to uh, showed this to a couple of people and they shrugged their shoulders they were like i i don't know your phone did that i'm like yeah my phone did that so accidentally I guess but nothing happens by accident i um i was watching some videos online actually a couple of days later i kind of forgot about this and i was watching some videos um about chakras and then this video uh, list uh, like a playlist came up and then i saw that this drew my attention when i saw this playlist and it's showing different chakras and I, I was like oh my god it's a it's a color of either i i can't say it's uh i think it's sacral chakra but it could be uh, root chakra <laughs> and i really don't know what this means you guys tell me what do you think of that and last but not least important i was on my laptop i was paying my bills and then uh after i paid uh, for my house this number came up on my available credit. This is three thousand three thousand two hundred thirty-two dollars and thirty-two cents. And I, I started laughing. I was like, "Come on, what is with this thirty-two? And I, I always know when I look up something, and if I'm not, this is how angels are so uh, wonderful and amazing. They're so adamant at. Uh, giving you the message this is their job they're really good at their job and i thank you angels right now in the name of god most merciful of all mercies allah i thank you for your help on our journeys and i i'm really grateful for your efforts that you do so as as i saw 32 32 32 i was on my laptop and i did take this photo with my phone to show you guys what my laptop was showing then i just went as i was still on my laptop i went to just go with put this f full number but not say angel number or meaning i just put 32 32 32 and look down uh at image search what showed up on my laptop at image search for some reason i don't know why it says 32 32 32 wedding gowns so that was the top suggestion by uh because I have different browser on my phone and different browser that I use for my laptop. So I guess this other browser, I think it's Yahoo and, and I use Google on my phone. It, it came up with wedding gowns. I was like, why would wedding gowns be a suggestion for this number? And so I got interested and I clicked on, uh, on this image and really was wedding gowns that came up and <laughs> i think it's a really good sign of of this twin flame marriage type of merge in 5d happening right now at least that's that's what i feel like uh this could mean the second uh place in top suggestions was this image and i never heard anything even similar but it said learn what's going on with your engine i feel it has to do something with our our body maybe our health i'm not sure but i feel somehow this is more the message for someone out there not me specifically because i just i, I don't know i know this message is important but it doesn't resonate with me right now well it could be but I, I put it on this video as well because I feel it's important for someone else out there. So if you're watching and this means something to you, please like and comment. Learned what's going on 
with your engine. I, I, I don't, as I, as I said, I can't really decipher this message, but I'm, I'm sure someone out there will. And I am, I apologize for my laptop <laughs> looking that bad. I'm sorry, because it's a touch screen. So anyways, I did see the third suggestion was the angel number 323. So I did look just at the image in the image search what it said and it's beautiful it says keep your face always towards the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you and this is a shadowy per period right now to me especially it's really hard and this was in amazingly encouraging again i thank angel i thank god the creator uh the ultimate um creator of the universe Allah to for to I want to thank him for everything uh, this far made me strong he made me very very strong on my journey and all of you out there stay strong uh, don't give up and the messages will keep pouring in angels are always surrounding us and no matter how hard it is there is always a divine protection uh, above us i just feel right now something downloaded to me i need to share with you it's uh, it's something about um prophet job uh, also known as ayub in the quran who was suffering great illness and then uh, god in in the end saved him and returned everything that he had lost to him and i just wanted to add this at the end because when i was Putting these screenshots and shots in my and to put together this video uh, where it ended, uh, even though my video is longer because I made a few uh, few screenshots longer so that I can tell you everything I had to say. But when I put all the videos, uh, all the picture photos down, uh, like in the timeline, uh, the the total time was 23. Uh, minutes you can see that i just wanted to show you that and that's all for now folks uh, my time is now 3 27 a.m so i'm gonna post this video in the morning so you guys can watch with morning whatever coffee or breakfast what you're doing i love you all guys please if you haven't subscribed i did have a uh, few few more new subscribers uh, past week i noticed that i want to thank them i want to wel welcome them into our little group our community and um, I want to wish you all happy uh, weekend and all the best and I'm sending you a lot of love and light Salam alaikum.